Hello, Walking Dead fans. This is Solid Dave Snake bringing you another review on the Walking Dead TV Series 6 action figures by McFarlane Toys. And this review is going to be on Abraham Ford. And Abraham Ford is one of the newer characters in the show. Showed up in the latter half of Season 4 and is played by Michael Cutlass, who I'm sure you've seen in a lot of different movies and shows. He was in Band of Brothers a while back and is good at these kind of army type roles and that's exactly who he plays in the show is former army sergeant Abraham Ford and this is one of the characters on the TV show that is a great great adaption from their comic book counterpart there's really not too many differences between the comic book version of Abraham and the TV version of Abraham which I really love. I love those direct adaptations and I think Michael Cutlass was perfect for this role but this isn't about the actor this is about the action figure so we will get right into it and he comes with three new accessories that are great for this character if you notice whenever you first see him appear in the TV show he is holding this submachine gun that he has right here and I will take it out and give you a closer look he holds it really tight And we'll get a focus in here. And it's just a little submachine gun, like an MP5. But I love getting new accessories, especially new, new weapons. Hoping we start getting some AK-47s here sometime soon, because a lot of characters use those in the show, but yet we have yet to get that accessory but I'm liking this there's really no paint variation with this it's solid black with a little bit of silver dry brushing throughout not much though and then he has two holsters back here one that holds his combat knife and one that holds his Desert Eagle pistol if you remember in the fourth season whenever they started dispatching some zombies around their truck he pulled out this desert eagle and started blowing them away and same thing with the submachine gun solid black with minor dry brushing silver dry brushing throughout You can see on the upper part of the slide where they had added that silver. And that fits in that holster really, really nice. And so does this combat knife as well. And it is actually stuck in there pretty good. Ah, there we go. Be careful when you put that in. Mine definitely got a little stuck there. And of course it's just got the silver blade with brown handle. Little silver notches in it. So a neat little combat knife. And the character design overall is basic but really about perfect. It really holds an overall exact likeness to Michael Cutlass. And the uniform is exactly what he, Abraham has been wearing in the show. And really basically wore in the comic books as well. We'll get in close up here on his face. And you can see that likeness is really brought out. I always find it funny in the show how they uh, dyed his hair so red, which his hair is really red in the comic books. 
on the covers you see him because the comics are actually black and white but it's funny on the show you'll sometimes see that die running down and the hair in the action figure is a little more natural looking not as red as it is in the show which I actually like better of course he's got that handlebar mustache and I have a little mess up right on the chin with the paint. I got a little extra brown paint there. Which kind of sucks. I might have to try to find another one because that's a big blotch. You really got to pick and choose with these paint apps in store. Sometimes they're pretty bad. But overall, that is a great likeness in the face. And he just has a tank top on. It has nice wrinkles in it. And his belt with his holsters. The sheath for the knife. And the holster for the pistol have nice detail. And a little bit of paint variation through there. With brown and black. Nice detail on the buckle. And his gloves. I really love those army gloves he has on. Great detail on those as well. And then of course his pants are army fatigues. Pouches on the side. Nice wrinkling down here at the cuffs. And his army boots are great. Did a great job detailing these boots. So, overall, great likeness to Abraham off the show. And probably one of the more well-done figures in this series. And he has great articulation as well. He has full rotation at the head. And he will look only that far up. But he will look a little little ways down. I don't know why he's so restricted going up. He should be able to look up more. And at the shoulders, he's got that ball joint and hinge. Just go that far up and rotate all the way around. And kind of has this weird little extra armpit section. I try to groove in there. I thought that was kind of kind of weird. And then he's got a ball joint and hinge for the elbows. which will go that far up and hyper extend a little bit. And of course rotate all the way around. Right here at the watch he's got a cut right here that will swivel. And of course the ball joint and hinge at the actual wrist. And he does have a cut at the waist, although it's really, really tight. So be careful with that. And of course, all these figures have that updated Daryl leg articulation, which will kick out and kick up. The only thing I don't like about this kicking out motion is, I mean, are you really ever going to detail your character like that? I don't know. <laughs> and at the knees, he's got the ball joint and hinge, which will go only that far back. He can't move back that far. But you can rotate it all the way around. And at the foot, he does not have any ankle pivot. He just has a cut right here. Where the boot and the cuff of the pants meet, which can rotate. So... Oh no, this is a great figure and one of my favorites in this series. It is between him and Herschel, but oh, I'll make my final pick when I go over Herschel because that Herschel is darn good. So, all right guys, stay tuned. I will have more Walking Dead TV Series 6 action figure reviews coming up. Thanks.